Alright. Time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today, I will be playing some Ramus here into a Poppy. It should be a fine matchup for me, really. There's not a whole lot she can do against me. I guess she can, like, W my ult, I think. Unless this is unstoppable, which I'm not 100% on. But, yeah, that's the only dash I have. So, I can just roll into her and taunt her, which should be pretty easy. Going for Dark Harvest as well. So, uh, maybe if I'm lucky, this guy goes for some weird-ass lethality Poppy. And I'll be, I'll be absolutely cruising. But, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Solo queue will always be solo queue, of course. Uh, so, yeah. And now for the beginner series, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out. This will have all of the champions in it. If you're looking for a specific one, be sure to uh, go look in the description for that playlist link and you should be able to find it. Not there yet. It most likely will be in the future, but we are pretty deep into the uh, pool now. So it should be there for the most part. Start with W here because it's just the fastest clear speed. With your uh, reflect damage and stuff. Yeah. I'd like the... Ramus is clear, like, initially on the first camp is not ideal. We're just gonna smite that. Uh, but it will get better. I probably should have powerballed into this one, actually. Uh, on this side of the map, I recommend taking your Q second. Because it's just, like, slightly better AoE damage for this. On the other side of the map, when you're doing, like, uh, Gromp slash Wolves, it's actually slightly better to take E. Because your E will give you more attack speed when you use it. But you can it can be used for that purpose. Uh, but with your Q you can close a bigger distance like this as well. As just do some AoE damage to the camp if that makes sense. So it, it is actually slightly better. Because uh, you have a closer bigger distance here. Uh, in, it's a smaller distance for blue chrome type deal. So, yeah. Take all three of your abilities here. As you can see, the Ramus Taunt will give you 20% increased attack speed, which would be more DPS on something like Gromp. But on like AoE camps, not so much. I should be powerballing. My brain's explaining too much and not clicking powerball enough. Try to like, powerball as much between your camps as you can, really. And make sure to use your Taunt as well. 40 attack speed when you get it. And, yeah. I'm gonna do Gromp first for a better respawn. Go. Garen is pushing. He is going to ward right now because he just walked towards the river as we saw. For Ramus' abilities, I mean, they're pretty straightforward. Powerball, just like you see, you start rolling. Uh, the longer you roll, the more attack or the more movement speed you get. So it will power up over time. Uh, just, yeah, pretty straightforward there. Your W increases your resistance tremendously, but also applies reflect damage. So if the targets will be hitting you, then they will take a bunch of reflect damage. Uh, this resistance scaling goes up as you see the percentage goes up the more points you put into it so that is definitely something to keep in mind as well i'm just gonna auto attack this we're not gonna use any of my abilities right here because if the poppy shows up i'd rather have them up i see the fight going on on top as well okay i'm gonna have to go for this Are you kidding me? Wow. And I also don't get Scuttle on 10 HP because the pet sucks. I am very sad, actually. That's disgusting. Yeah, I gotta have to hit the pet again. Uh, the fact that this thing also... Okay, well. Damn. Imagine that, man. Probably should have flashed over the minion wave, I suppose. Is this priority here. There's nothing Poppy should be able to do, realistically. I don't know how much I can do about this. If I'm fast enough to catch him here. Uh, man, this is honestly kind of unlucky, I would say. Uh, the the Oh, I should have smited the scuttle, man. What am I doing? What a start. Mr. Poppy on 1 HP. Mr. Vlad on 1 HP. Holy moly. Alright, I see how it is. You gonna walk up here to the fizz at all? Nah, yeah, doesn't look like it. Gonna have to look for a recall. Get the bramble vest here. Need to get into a next rotation as well. Powerball out of base. 
cannot believe I missed the kill on Vlad with a stupid... Like, I actually genuinely thought that his W would be on cooldown. Because early game, W from Vlad's like a 25 second cooldown or something ridiculous like that. So I figured he'd used it against Fizz in the 1v1, which he most likely did. But... Well, he must have just gotten it back because he used it. Oh, come on. I hope I went for that one, really. Okay. It's all as much time as possible there. Wait for my E to come back, and then we use it. Just used my E recently there. I actually thought my bot lane was just going to walk away, but I kept walking up, so they allowed for the poppy gank. Uh, so I was just going to start this camp, because I assumed they were going to walk back, but they didn't. But then I had to like kind of stall before I hit the poppy with my Q, so I make sure to have a more of a potential to chase. Uh, so my for waiting for my E to come back up before I like press W and stuff, you know? Powerball between camps here. The cooldown on Powerball goes down drastically. Like, it's a 16 second one on the first level, and it's a 6 second one on the final level. It's kind of why you want to max it as a jungler. Uh, because you, you just want to be using that thing as frequently as possible. I'm going to have to probably look for mid here. There we go. God, it's so close. A third aggro taunting as well. Be, oh, come on. This, I mean, uh, I guess I should have taken an extra turret hit, but it was going to get a little risky there, and I didn't want to really do that. I'm going to have to push out this wave, because I need to make sure this hits into the turret. Do not miss the cannon and stuff? Okay, good. Good enough. Mm, I have ult. There could be a plant in river here right now, which I'm kind of looking to use. There it is. I'm gonna wait for Twitch to come back to lane here. I'm gonna smite this, pick up the plant, and then look for the bot gank if I can. Alright, this should be pretty free. She hit me back, right? Please tell me she dies to poison. Oh, come on. Dude, what is this 1-H? Oh, this Twitch is not going to get that cannon. He's not positioning himself for it. Guess I'm going to have to hit it then. What is this, like, business, man? I swear to God. I feel like I'm getting wrecked on these uh, 1 HP situations. I'm going to just do red buff real quick and then recall. I hope that's enough money. Actually, not sure. How much does my Thornwell cost here? Because I want to rush this. A1900? Eh. I'd have to do Krugs as well. My Fizz is uh, heavily struggling over here. Keep using my taunt for the attack speed increase. I might have to do my Krugs here as well. I think I have to, because uh, the uh, money situation. Uh, I'll just do them anyway. Alright, cool. After this, I'll definitely take the recall, and then we're going to go for my topside jungle. And maybe look for a play on mid lane, potentially, as well. But my Thornmill completion is going to be very nice for just reflect damage purposes. Just a really solid item on Ramas in general. Your uh, W reflect damage will, or your W damage alongside Thornmill damage will basically be enough to kill like camps in general. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna. I don't have a choice here. I think I have to uh, move on over, do something about this. I'm just gonna do this. I probably could have ulted potentially for the same play, but kind of same deal. This is quicker. Make sure I shove this into the turret. I didn't have a choice but to go help because the chance of that look turning into a pretty bad play were pretty high. I don't like try to show you are drunk, buddy. Okay, at least there I'm just threatening so she doesn't walk up. This is lucky. He did it. That one HP is lucky. I really need to back, man. I have so much gold now. I wanted to back right after this, but I really don't have a choice. If you see something like that, you really just don't have a choice, honestly. All right, let's go move out. Um, Mitt looks possible. He is definitely low enough. Gonna have to hold at least one wave so he doesn't get a bunch of turret platings here. He can get one, but after this, he's definitely gonna have to be careful. He can't stick around. 
Gonna power ball up to him. We're probably gonna smite this cannon as well. I should have avoided the minion wave a bit better. But with the Vlad pool, I was very unlikely to get him anyway. So I guess this is fine. I was a little bit too focused on like smiting the cannon. And I should have focused a little bit more about like walking around the minion wave a bit better. So I didn't like interact with that. Uh, seeing the top lane situation here, I might be able to dive this Garen. She could definitely be doing dragon. That is a, that's a pretty serious possibility, I would say. Oh. I am down to do this. We're gonna max W second. The resistance is going up is more relevant uh, generally than the um the E going these days. Or like the extra like taunt duration essentially here. You also get more attack speed, but that's probably going to be a dragon. Ooh, that's a death on bot lane. That's definitely a dragon. Don't take this. What the heck? I'm not going to give you that. Are you serious? Okay, let's see if I can maybe do something here. He's going to walk up to the turret. Yep. Cool. <laughs> we had, nice we had a talk there, Vladimir. Okay. that up with a Q. Just, my god, you are so strong. It's, uh, this Fizz is uh, kind of running it into him, unfortunately. He's also a lot of CS down. That's a dragon. That's expected. Let's get this down. Dudes! What? Are you kidding me with this? Resistance is up. I should be good. Oh my god, that's close. I don't know why he didn't just walk up. Vladimir already used his um, his pool, so all Viz had to do was just ult him when he get, gets up there, and then we're good, right? I really don't want to miss out on the third gold here, so I should just uh, stick around a bit. Okay, well, that's good enough for me, I suppose. Ah, uh, Fizz gets that plate as well, that's not bad. Oh, I got... Oh, okay, cool, we're good. So, Steel Caps, I'm gonna have to recall here, obviously, I can't stay. We're gonna go Jock Show next. Definitely gonna need some magic resist here quickly, because their enemy team is uh, getting a little scary, especially the Vladimir. Looking pretty good, mid turret took a big hit. Your solo kills, but dies. Why did he fight the Poppy? I don't understand. This, this guy is, like, having a bad day or something. Jesus. Okay, well. What's gonna happen here? Poppy was too low to go for a bot lane gank, surely. I think, at least. Let's take the red here, I suppose. Need to make sure I keep up my clear to an like somewhat an effective a degree. This Vlad is uh, cruising on mid lane. Pretty scary because Vlad skills extremely well, so that makes it a bit tricky. You're dead. Interesting. This ult is up, so we just go for this right, surely. Bunt him so he can't do anything. Please use your ultimate, my boy. Jesus Christ. Sure to CC here. She can't hit, she doesn't win this. I'm gonna wait with my uh, E until the taunt is, the, until my W is up, so she's forced to hit me. All right, perfect. If I taunt first without W being up, it's gonna be less reflect damage, which is gonna be less ideal, so we're gonna wait for that for sure. Get this down. Are you kidding me? I just need enough mana, for, or like I just need this to be up. I don't think he can outrun me. The rotation here on his end is not not particularly smart, honestly. I'd be surprised if he chases me into Raptors, but uh, he does. Wow. 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 You are insane, Garen. I mean, it forces out, like, the fact that I kind of have to get out of that situation. It, it, I guess it's risky to go for the Raptors there, but the chase there is an absolute maniac move considering the top situation. Like... 
I was not expecting that, considering the Fiora is just, like, absolutely barreling down his turret. Okay, well, she's now gonna die. Fiora, hello? Go mid lane again. How long fizzled? Fizzled's 10 seconds. 10 seconds should be good. I'm gonna have to go hell bot lane as well, though. He's gonna walk up here. I'm gonna go in from behind. Taunt him. He should take uh, plenty of damage here. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, at least a one-for-one -one trade, which I think is worth it, considering the Fizz's situation. Because the Fizz right now is, like, worth absolutely nothing anyway, so I'll take the trade for that, you know? See if we can rotate the bot as fast as possible here. Because the Poppy is positioning herself very far up, we're gonna Q. Use my ultimate here to close the distance on him and then taunt. That's probably very stupid. Yeah, I just gave a shutdown of a thousand gold for that play to Zyra. Actually, is that is that really that bad? Uh, I mean, the Zyra getting fed not good, but it is still the support, I guess. It's not the AD carry. I should not have greeted for that play, though. In all fairness, I think the, uh, the, the Twitch should have been walking up slightly faster. Uh, that being said, though, I think I shouldn't have greeted for the kill. I don't think it was worth the shutdown that I was worth there. Definitely not, actually. Well, it happens, I guess. Just a mistake. Go back to mid lane, because I kind of need to kill this Vladimir again. Let's power ball out of base here as well. I really need to get this blue smite finished as well, because it's going to help me quite a tremendous amount, too. I just wanted River, I believe. Don't miss. Thank you. He waited for the taunt, which is smart. That is the stuff we want to see. Him waiting for taunt before he does something to land his ultimate. Wait, this is... This poopy is not serious, right? I'm gonna hit him. I'll take turret aggro. So Fizz doesn't get hit in return, because I'm way tankier. <sighs> what is this ping thing from this guy? Walking up. You are... Okay. Jesus Christ. Can you hit him? What are you doing? Alright, thank you. I was I was hoping to get hit by the uh, by the poppy thing ult there honestly to just get the safety the dragon's gone. It's whatever. The twitch didn't want to like rotate towards dragon and I didn't really want to start it because of that and my fizz just kind of suicided once again. So what can I say? But yeah, uh, if the fizz would have just or sorry if the twitch would have just rotated to dragon instead of doing the turret we could have had the dragon. But without him I didn't really want to uh, go for it there especially with the fizz dying there so fighting poppy as well. Be expected actually, yeah. That should, Fjord should get that one. This one's gonna get interesting this game. Okay, let, there's no. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. She should pretty much suicide on me, right? Make sure to not hit the minion wave there. Right, good enough. Solid kill. I really am gonna have to get a force of nature like right now the next item because I this this Vladimir and Desire are gonna get scary. I actually can't recall here. Because if I recall there, there my bolt gonna die to a flat rotation. I already know it. I can smell it from a mile away. I'm gonna, I have to shadow them here. Like, if I don't shadow them right here, they 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 just they have such a high chance. Oh, wait a second. Uh, 
uh, their damage on Baron should be extremely low, though. I don't think it's possible. He's dead. Perfect. No. Prevent this guy from actually getting him. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you cancelled me, sure. Dude, hit the plant! What the f- I'm just gonna taunt this guy. I'm still have my jock ship. Please, please don't. Oh my god. Twitch, my boy. Are you serious? And hopefully Fizz gets him because I can't help him anymore. That ch Fizz realistically should get him. Right? Fizz? What the? You do no damage? Ho okay, well, maybe I should have rolled back. I actually thought that like a 20% poppy should be an easy finish, but... Oh god, oh god, okay. <laughs> he still died, damn it. I probably should have smited him. Yeah, I, think, I don't know if that would have mattered. I think he would have still died to the plants, actually. Jesus Christ, what a... Is it getting... Wait, hello? Can I recall? Uh, I think the Leandry's burn or something kicked in there. Uh, this guy's gonna have to walk away fast. Okay, cool. Two control wards. Ah, she's gonna run into the entire enemy team, isn't she? I'm gonna try to get towards her as fast as possible. Uh, she seems to be safe, actually. That plant may have saved her life. It's quite good. I am extremely tanky, but, uh... My team is scary. Yes, my own team is scary. Oh god, okay. I'm gonna have to help this guy out. Run into him here. Okay, at least I saved him. That's good. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna have to sprint bolt lane, aren't I? This is... This is gonna... Oh, hello. Good ult, nice. He landed it on my taunt, that's what we want to see. Okay. Yeah, my, that, my bot lane, man. Oof. They don't, they're not even placing wards. That ward in there is my ward. It's not even them placing it, you know. Let's use it on this guy. I, should, I think I should be fine here. That Saya ult down. I think it's too risky for me to say that I should be walking up the entire time here. I'll tank turret, not a problem. Yep. I make sure I hold turret aggro there, because I, I am extremely tanky, of course, and my Fizz is just going to be able to chase him down, especially after the W thing. So definitely don't want to drop turret aggro on that one. This is actually picking up some kills. These days, that is quite good. I should be able to get the blue here, hopefully. This might be a tad bit greedy, though. But it would be nice. Perfect. Uh, we really need this dragon. Oh, she has teleport, actually. It should be fine. Because she has teleport, it should be okay. Just gonna kind of wait. I think I just go for this guy, right? Poorly. He pretty much suicides on me. I don't know if smiting there is worth it. I just flank from behind. Go onto this guy. Get my W up for the resistance, so I should be good. The enemy team actually crawled past me there. Fiora, we need your help, buddy. The problem here is I'm gonna get Garen ulted. Because it's true damage, Fiora. What is she doing, man? She is literally AFKing in the brain. I'm gonna taunt here. Okay. And the flash taunts must a must there. I don't know why she is just going bot lane here. Because right there we're all kind of low and Garen has high, high kill pressure on us due to the uh due to his ultimate, really. Like no matter like how tanky I am resistances wise, I didn't have the HP there to survive a Garen ult true damage hit. That would have killed me most likely, so I had to play extremely safe. Fiora still had full HP and there was nothing to push on bot lane apart from like a minion wave, so she should have realistically helped us secure the uh, dragon. She is the one that could have fought the Garen the best, but she is also the one that didn't want to help us out, so that's a little scary. 
And so that's the reason I was spampinging her to hopefully help, help have her show up. I don't think she wins that. Shut down. Oh. Um, I'm gonna get stone plate here. Stone plate's an amazing combination with um, with Jock Show. It's gonna be a great item here. So I need both resistances really pretty badly here. I think something like Sunfire for damage would be quite nice, but you know. Just taunt her out of the ult animation and just have her W up. So if they are start if they start hitting me, they should be dying pretty quickly. He should be dead, right? Okay, he's dead. Cool. Uh, we use the blue smite potentially to reach this guy here, if I can. I should be okay here, right? I don't think he has the damage to kill me. Perfect. Let's Baron. Please, I beg, I, I, please. Dudes, why are you shoving mid? Just come to Baron, my guy. Oh my god, my brain. Dudes, what is this? Come! There is nothing to push on mid lane, my boy. You just... I don't care if Twitch is pushing. Like, I mean, I kind of care, because Twitch and Heimer are our main sources of damage on this Baron. If at least one of these two would have just come the Baron, this would have killed this Baron, like, now already. The longer we wait and the longer this Baron takes, the riskier it is. Because as you can see, we don't have the best Baron damage here. Like, Fizz, Fiora, Remus, no, it's not great. Either Twitch or Heimer has, like, colossal Baron damage, so one of them would have been enough. But both of them not coming really sucks. Jesus Christ. Anyway, it, it doesn't. I guess it doesn't matter. We got the Baron in the end. But I don't like taking longer on Baron than necessary because it just ups the chances of it getting stolen. On him. I'm actually just going to loop past this way and see if I can catch him. That's a pretty good catch, I think. There's no way for her to get out, right? Let's cancel her ult there real quick. I'm gonna have to go for the Vladimir here. Okay. Good, so you see this guy as well. Good, not bad. Fiora gets the push on mid lane. And I think I've held enough hands this game for us to be fine. <laughs> Alright, cool. With W like this, uh, without a Jock Show proc, I already have 880 armor and 400 magic resist. The Jock Show procs on top of this. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see. It's proc now, and then we use. Oh, it just disappeared. Wonderful. Should have like a, probably an easy thousand, right? Something like that. But yeah, that's it for Ramus. Last item here. I don't know, man. Just another armor item. Something magic resist probably against this team as well. It can be anything, honestly. Just anything that fits tank-wise would be good. Maybe a Warmox there, actually. That would be quite nice. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for Remus, and I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 27.1k damage, which is very respectable, considering I'm building full tank. Uh, having done this amount of damage is very good. I would damage both Fiora and the Twitch. The Fizz eventually was able to get back into this game with a couple kills that I donated to him, so that's quite nice. And, I mean, Heimer damage is always going to be relatively high, I would say. Uh, true damage, 2k. Uh, damage to objectives at 23.1k. It's a bit of a struggle, this game, to realistically go for a bunch of objectives, because my laners were, especially my mid laner, was heavily inting for a lot of the early games, so that makes things like... Uh, dragon control a lot more difficult heralds and all that type of stuff it's just generally way more difficult uh, but try to get this as high as possible is what i want to say really we have healing done at about 19k pretty good damage taken at 31.6 which is the most damage taken on my team but uh, the self-mitigated damage is going to be through the roof here i think yeah, 76.9k uh, 76 self-mitigated damage, which means I took around 
uh, like 106k damage, something like that. Yeah, at least a lot. <laughs> uh, so 106, 107k damage, I believe, which is really good considering the amount of damage I did here as well. I had enough setup place for my team to pick up some kills, which was quite nice, especially to bring them back in this game. And especially my Fizz, because oh my god. At some point, because uh, what was his KDA? He was at some point, I believe, 1 in 9 and ended 8 in 11, so that's quite good. That is, uh, that's, a, that's a heavy salvage on that one, you know. For the runes, uh, Aftershock killed about 2,000, which is quite nice. self mitigated damage for about 1,000. Form of Life, Ally Healing for 2,000, that's good. A conditioning, bonus armor, magic resist, which will also be quite nice with your W and Jock Show procced and all that. You saw without the Jock Show up, my W already gave me like 900 armor and 450 magic resist. So with the Jock Show procced on top of that, it's going to go even higher, which means I'm nearly impossible to kill. Uh, Triumph for some HP regeneration. This is just like a really nice rune to have uh, for like durability on tanks, because any HP this regenerates on miss based on missing HP with this amount of resistances is going to... Uh, so save your life quite a lot and then the legend tenacity un uh, combination with the unflinching is what i like to pick up because this prevents green smite from being really effective slash mercs aren't really necessary either since the tenacity changes they made the stacking it doesn't do too much so the unflinching tenacity combination here uh, prevents the need for mercs and also the green smite so that allows for blue smite every time no problem and then also steel caps, which are just really good in general for defensiveness. So, uh, yeah. But that is it for Remus. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.